not that I'm not going to have a lot of fun, but when is she supposed to get here? 30 minutes ago. She's always late. Why doesn't that not surprise me? Now everyone just calm down. I'm sure she has a good reason. Maybe we should start without her. Maybe we can just teach her a lesson. Um, Let me call her and see where she is. Well, what we should do is... Now, ladies, I don't think that's such a good idea. You don't want to get Paris mad. She is the lady of the time, after all. I know she can be selfish sometimes, but... You mean she is selfish all the time? She's only donating her time because her uncle asked her to. This is true. She's only concerned about her party business. She's trying to trick the members into becoming clients. I say we teach her a lesson. That sounds like a good idea. Count me in. I don't want to be any part of this. Besides, I'm sure she has a perfectly good idea for being late. Maybe she got lost. Let me call her and see where she is. Where did that phone come from? Harris, this is your sister-in-law. Where are you? What do you mean you're getting your nails done? Okay, whatever. You were supposed to be here 30 minutes ago, so hurry up and get here. I can't believe this. I told you she's selfish. She can't, she doesn't care how long she keeps people. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, count me in. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. the details like we discussed the other day. I have one month to pull this off. That's right. Have you hired anybody to do the work? You're looking at him. No. I don't want to work with rich and lazy people. I want some hard-working middle-class people. They get the job done. Well, you're stuck with the lazy rich people. The four of us is all you get. We'll work hard, so don't you fret. That was random. Now seriously, how much staff do I get? I think the nail polish fumes are getting to her. We're going to have to talk slower. Paris. This is a non-profit organization. We're just going to have to use what we've got. Okay, fine, whatever. Well, at least I got a $50,000 budget. 5000 not 50000 No way. I specifically heard you say $50,000 over the phone the other day. Stay with us, Paris. Volunteer, nonprofit organization, small budgets. I think I have to sit down. This is the church 
basement, not the Waldorf Astoria Paris, $5,000 is going to have to be enough. I guess. You don't get it. This was supposed to be my debut, my first party planning in a long time. How am I going to decorate a church basement in the middle of Nowheresville on a $5,000 budget? Whoa. Are you done with the pity party? We've got some cheese in the kitchen to go along with that wine. I can do this. I'm a professional. That's debatable. Huh, just show me what rooms I have to decorate. This is one of them. Are you kidding me? There's a washer and dryer over here. What do you expect me to do with that? We don't know. That's your job, silly. Just get me out of the room. I have to, I have to get out of here. You know, I saw this really great show this morning. It's called The Great Space Coaster. It's got this character named Gary Gnus. You know, no Gnus hey is like good Gnus with Gary Gnus. I need yes. you to skedaddle for a few minutes. Why? We need to show Ship Paris. The All right, let's go. We'll be upstairs if you need us. to do in here in the service kitchen. This is the main kitchen, Zilly. You're joking. Are you serious? You can't make anything in here. What do you plan on serving at this party? Slim Jims and Kool-Aid? Well, my husband would definitely come to a party like that. Oh, we can afford like the food. We get that all taken care of. Good, because I don't decorate kitchens and I don't do food. Actually, it's the room over there we want to stage for the wine cellar. I'll show you. Here it is. You gals are just messing with me, aren't you? Why would we do that, Paris? We don't have time for games. We don't even like to get this together. I suppose so. What does this room look like inside? It's right down the hole where we just came from. Okay, I'll be right back. Young lady, I think you went a bit overboard with that fake rat. It scared me more than it did Paris. I thought it was awesome. High five, sister. Um, that wasn't me. Did you see how much it scared me too? Oh, good gracious, that was a real rat? Mm, I think it was. Lesson teaching? What do you mean lesson teaching? Come on, I'll show you while we work. Oh, 
What just happened? I have no idea. Well, who cares? We have more important things to take care of anyway. We do? To the kitchen. 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 Did you get everything on my list, Jeff? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Let's see. That's all of it. What is this? Uh, that's mine. Why did you buy a bottle of acid? That wasn't on my list. says it is. Because if it isn't, Mrs. Peacock is going to be mad. And when Mrs. Peacock gets mad, Mr. Peacock gets mad. And if Mr. Peacock gets mad, he'll send us to Siberia! Relax, trust me guys. I haven't been long. Uh, Charles, have you ever met yourself? Now that was really harsh. It's all, it's all in love. Don't worry. This, my dear friends? Mm. I mean associates? Mm, not really. A couple of guys that can tolerate me for a few hours at a time? Yeah, yeah continue yeah. with this. Let me continue. Anyhow, we're about to set the American taste buds upside down. Here we have the two best ingredients known to man in the old Canadian recipe of wait for it, wait for it, the fluff a nutter. Ch Charles, you can't serve whole sandwiches at cocktail hour. I mean, you told us that you that 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 you were bringing us some of Canada's finest hors d'oeuvres. But I am. You cut them into triangles. And now you have little sandwiches. Oh. oh. That could work. Um, so how do I make them? It's real simple. Even a crazy Canadian can make them. Well, out with it, man. I'll show you. Here. You open that. You open that. I'll get the bread. Alright. So everything's open. Now what? First you take the peanut butter, you put it on the first piece of